My name is Isabella. I'm uh, 17. I'm a junior at Innovation Academy Charter School. My name is Erzi Nason. I'm a junior in Innovation Academy. My name is Emma. I'm a junior at Innovation Academy. And I learned about green chemistry in my sophomore year of high school in a forensics class. My teacher, Mrs. Darabal, kept bringing it up time and time again. And I came into chem this year and I realized that it is very important. Green chemistry is essentially taking chemistry that exists or like a chemical process and doing it in a way that's better for the environment, better cost-wise, more efficient, so like reinventing it. What it does is it follows three main criteria. There's performance, uh, the cost, and then there is the safety, the most important one. I really like the whole thing where it's environment positive because we're making things out of biodegradable plastics, which is like, for me, it's like the focal point of green chemistry. We have like a whole range of freedom where we can do whatever we want, we can make whatever we want, and we don't really like fear that it will be here in like a billion years or whatever. I really enjoyed when we just had the materials out for the bioplastics and we were told like, okay, make a, make a bioplastic. These are what these things are, these are what these things are, these are what these things are, just kind of go. I liked how open-ended it was. You could do something and see like what the result was and kind of from there think about like what traits it had and like sort of remedy the traits that I thought weren't desirable in a plastic. The only thing I can think of that I'd say is just like the try, try, try again. But I'd say don't just keep trying the same thing exactly the same over and over again because that's not going to change anything. Subconsciously I knew, yeah, it takes trial and error to like make an invention to make a product. Like you don't just get it right on the first try. But I didn't really like ever put any conscious thought into just how much effort it takes. I think we only have one earth and I think we only, you know, we only get this one chance. So if I can go about it and do things that will positively impact the earth, then definitely I'd go with green chemistry to do it all.